Hi there, this is a short video in terms of importing shapefile elevation data into the SoundPlan GeoDatabase. One of the problems with this uh, information is actually it's in feet and uh, the database uh, was created or the shapefile was created in AutoCAD and uh, the data actually had to be uh, first uh, modified in uh, the, uh, with the database uh, editor uh, and you can do that in SoundPlan and uh, so let me show you that first um, I go open in open the spreadsheet and in the spreadsheet um, we can open uh, let me close this and we just open database so here we have the original two feet contour clip in feet so I open that up and here you can see where the problem is uh, there is a unit feet in this elevation table and we can easily change that by going edit and we go search and replace and we search and replace and uh, replace basically the space uh, and feet and then uh, do that for the entire column I click OK and all of these um, yeah, uh, numbers are basically changed and the unit is removed so and then after that we can just save it so after that we can uh, import that into the geodatabase um, I assume all the uh, X, Y and of course the Z the elevation is all in feet so we first import the, the data set and then convert that into uh, a metric elevation um, data file so let's go file we go import and here's S3 shapefile uh, we tell it that it will be elevation data, elevation lines and then here we select uh, our shapefile and here it automatically assigns the elevation to H1 so H1 is the uh, metric or should be the metric elevation here and all the rest of the information in the shapefile is uh, not of uh, importance so we click OK or actually let me filter that elevation data with a half meter uh, filter spacing so it also removes like some of the density on the elevation data so I'll click OK and I'll skip the uh, transformation so we had like a transformation to a different uh, coordinate system we can do it right here I'll skip that and here is the elevation data so right here we can uh, look at the front view and here we can easily see that this is uh, correctly imported we have the uh, two feet elevation lines in here now a few things um, this is probably in feet the X Y and the Z so we need to convert that so let me go back to the top view I'll select the tools here and uh, this is approximately like the the width of a road I assume I don't really know anything uh, about this project so let me just uh, do two points here just to get an idea of what that is 57 meters uh, I think that's uh, indication that this is all in feet and not in meters so let me remove this uh, this uh, measuring tape and so what I need to do is I'll select all control A and we do a quick coordinate operation and we start with X so we multiply everything by 0.3 or 48 so that is the conversion from feet into meters we execute we go to Y multiply it 0 0.3048 execute and in Z same thing uh, 0.3048 execute and now we should have everything uh, let me rescale that and uh, this should be now all correct if we look at the width of this here again this should be somewhere around 20 meters now yep 15 nice 60 meters that looks about right so it looks like we have it all set up uh, last thing uh, in terms of uh, let me save this and save the situation uh, run the digital ground model calculate DGM okay that's just DGM calculation start and of course this is a fairly dense uh, points here it looks like there's also some overlaps here that's this one warning probably one line uh, overlapping another line 
and the program basically gives me a, a warning there which which height it probably always uses the lower height and here we can look at the 3d map to get a better idea of the topography here uh, this looks like a pretty intense elevation uh, for this project it looks like this is a, a road and with some homes and uh, yep and yeah it looks like here is a bridge all right so this um, covers the the input uh, of uh, shapefiles and um, on this one I probably would continue with the filtering here it looks like the uh, density of the points here is trading a lot of triangles so if I look at the triangle density here it's actually not too too bad um, but if you wanted to uh, change the filtering and reduce some of the triangles uh, you would select all the elevation lines and uh, do an additional filtering here so here you can define a filter um, as you remember earlier we did like a half a meter filter which is approximately uh, before we did the conversion from uh, feet to meters uh, was a very tight filter it was more like a half a foot so we could increase that maybe do a 0.3 meters filter and so here this is kind of like, uh, what it would remove if we uh, change that filtering to uh, like a 30 centimeters or 0.3 plus minus uh, so now it's selected all the points that meet that criteria we can again delete and then uh, rerun save the data and then rerun the digital ground model and calculate it again and um, rerun it and in this case it should uh, come up with uh, less less triangles so you can kind of see there now the triangles are a little bit less dense and uh, it's maybe more yeah so that's one of those things that uh, you need to play around with in terms of the um, filtering what is a reasonable filter and this ends this uh, video.